menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle through the main menu. Start game demo. Please select starting diff casual setting. The game is set to casual. The king is dead. It was not a hero's death. It was the slow death of an old man. But I gave him time to plot and fuss about his affairs. Enough time, in fact, to spare a rare thought towards his second born. What to do with me? The blind girl he hid away in the keep. Would I be allowed to stand at my brother's side as he took his place on the throne? No. Even from the grave, my father would not allow me to burden the family. No less than 500 miles of barren heath and twisting veil would keep me from doing that. And now? Here I am, on the approach to my new home on the outskirts of the kingdom. I hear a river. Where are we, Uncle? We're crossing now. Pause menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle menu options. Resumed. You, Alex, are officially home. Describe it for me. I would think the smell of would provide all you need to know. You could have said something nice. Made something up. Honesty is the greatest gift a princess would receive. Then you spoil me, Uncle. Why would it be my father's dying wish to send me to the Borderlands? Your brother is king. Your father wanted you to have something of your own. That's honesty. Even in death, Father wanted to decide this daughter as far away as possible. I wanted you to have something of your own. From one second born to another, it's not an easy thing being in someone's shadow. I like the shadows. You hear more honesty there. You will make a wise lady. Even out here, in the borderlands. I'll make some chieftain's son a disappointing wife. You'll be just fine. As long as you can tell the difference between the men and the sheep. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Lord. What is it? Odetan riders from the northwest. How many? An army, my lord. Can we make the castle? No. The are on us now. To arms! To arms! Wait here, Alex. Uncle? blind seeker. He fell down the stairs of the loft. This always happens to me, doesn't it? Because you're the only one who can't cheat. Everyone else peeks under the blindfold. No. Rolf tricked me. He led me to the edge of the stairs. Well, the little Ted is hiding by the mill wheel right now. I won't say anything to Father if you were to be careless with your cane as you search there. Push up on the left stick to move forward. Push sideways on the left stick to turn on the spot. the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Alex? It 
it's uncle. Just get him the Rolf will be wanted back in the kitchens. Yes, my lord. You may go too, Theo. Yes, uncle. Sorry, Alex. I see you've found a new use for your cane. What is my punishment? If anyone should be punished, it's me. The things I should have taught you years ago. Like what? I stand directly in front of you. And I want you to swing your cane at me. You want me to hit you? Yes. My punishment. Your first lesson. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Swing at me. Now. Excellent. Now. When I move, your head will remain facing forward as to conceal your level of awareness from your enemy. My enemy? Listen. Now swing at me again. Very good. Now, I'm moving to stand directly in front of you again. I want you to swing as many times as you can, as fast as you can. That's good. Know your limit. You want to be selective. Your strikes. You will be limited to only a few consecutive strikes before you must pause to catch your breath. An exhausted fighter is a dead fighter. And what do you think is the first rule of combat? Don't die? Precisely. Reassuring. Well, oh, a body, a soldier, not one of ours. Perhaps Uncle made it out okay. Let's see here. Yes, a sword. Rusted, broken, better than nothing, and a scabbard. You'll have to do for now. one here now. And fair warning, you're getting this one in the muzzle. tonight. What do I do, Uncle? What would Theo do? I suppose a king wouldn't find himself alone 500 miles from his home. 500 miles. I suppose I start walking. lead east they say unless you're walking in the exact wrong direction 
Talking to yourself like a madwoman. Who's there? Friend or foe? Depends. Are you with your dead and whore? No. I have no money. I'm not out to rob you. You're limping. You're injured. You're blind. But perceptive. Friend or foe? You're highborn. You're not from the borderlands. And you? A shepherd. Where's your flock? In the bellies of barbarians. We are not foes then? It would appear not. I hear men approaching. Are they the king's guard? Afraid not, girl. This is where we part ways. Good luck. Wait! Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like a shiny prize to me. Don't suppose she's the one the general's looking for. Okay. Stay calm. Think, Alex. You wanted to see me, Uncle? You are going to learn how to use a sword today. My father wants me to learn how to use a sword. In truth, no, he does not. However, the princess and future protector of the realm need first be able to protect herself. Wouldn't that be my brother's job? Protector of the realm? Firstborns get killed every day, girl. You're going to learn this. Here, take this sword. Grip it. Firmly. You know I've never cared that you're blind. And our enemies will not care about that either when they set out to kill you. Now, I want you to swing your sword at me. Don't worry, the blade is not sharp. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Excellent. As you can hear, your attacks are easy for me to parry as long as I'm not trying to do something else. Something else? Like what? Like hitting you. Uh... Now, if you don't want that to happen again, you're going to have to hit me first. And if you're quick enough, I won't be able to parry. Are you ready? I suppose. Listen for sounds that lead into my swing. My armor, the shift of my weight, and swing the second you hear it. Okay. Uh, ah! Very good. One more time. Uh, ah! Excellent. Now... Shall we play a little game? No. Too bad. Strike me three times and you win. All right. Oh, and I'm going to move around this time. Yep. Uh, <coughs> very good. You think you don't need to learn this, but our enemies are unyielding and they show no mercy. Not for the young, nor the old, nor the blind. I want you to be strong, even stronger than your brother, because no one knows what the future might hold for you. All right, Uncle. <sighs> What's wrong with you, girl? What are you staring at? Stay back, or I'll start swinging. Where's the, where's the other half of your sword? What are you waiting for? I think she is blind. And that should be easy for you.
the shepherd? Yes. But take my hand before more arrive. Where are you taking me? Safety. I have a camp nearby. Sorry, girl, for running off. What's a lame shepherd going to do against practice killers? I suppose I should thank you for coming back. I suppose you're welcome. I need to get back to the capital. To my brother. The capital? What are you doing out here? Merchant family? My family is very wealthy. There would be a reward if I was escorted back safely. Escort a blind girl 500 miles down a treacherous valley in the wake of an invading horde. Not sure what reward would be worth that. What would you do with me then? Teach you to tend sheep. Get your pretty hands dirty. You could buy a thousand sheep with the reward my family could provide. A thousand? Huh. Must be some family you have. Or you don't know the price of sheep. Do you have a name? Alex. Alex. Hmm. I'm Abdel Rashid. Abdel... Abdur... Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Call me Shepherd if you like. Okay. Shepherd. Getting you home, Alex, will depend on where the Odedin are headed, how well I can heal up, and who we can find to help us on the way. My uncle and I were traveling with a guard when we were attacked. They may still be around. If that horde set upon them, they would have been killed. I'm still here. Then you were not worth the trouble. Get some best. It will be safer to travel later at night. I suppose you're indifferent to the dark. Thank you, Shepherd. Don't thank me yet, sheep. The valley home is long and winding. It conceals more than just barbarians. Alex, pay attention. Yes, uncle. Now, as a blind fighter, you will be well served to have a shield. Now take it here with your left hand. It's heavy. As it should be. Now, this time, when I swing at you, I want you to raise your shield. Hold the left stick in the direction of your target to block. Are you ready? Sure. Raise your shield. Uh, excellent. Now, right after you block my attack, you'll have a split second to counterattack. It's a more defensive way to fight. Give it a try. Block my attack and immediately counterattack. Use the left stick to block your target. Then release left stick and immediately counterattack using the right stick. Another game, then. Defeat me any way you want. Attack as I swing, or block and counterattack. On guard, girl. Set up camp on the ridge above us. We have to get moving. Follow me. Uh, 